Hi, this is uh, Brian Morgan. We're going to be uh, uh, narrating an ice dent video. Uh, here, the very first step is after we've removed the cataract, we use a little bit of viscoelastic to kind of open the anterior chamber angle. And we tilt the head of the patient about 30 degrees away uh, and tilt the microscope as well. Here, we're using a gonio prism to kind of visualize um, the structures of the angle. We're looking for um, the trabecular meshwork and looking for particularly some heme there to kind of um, reflux back into Schlem's canal. Here we're inspecting the eye stent device to make sure it's loaded correctly in the uh, eye stent uh, holder. And then we're going to place the gonio prism back on the eye, visualize the angle once we have inserted the eye stent uh, through the temporal clear corneal incision that we've made for cataract surgery. So here we have the eye stent back on there. We're looking across, looking at the uh, trabecular meshwork, looking really to insert the eye stent in about the anterior one-third of the trabecular meshwork. Um, we're looking um, for some heme that's collected there in Schlem's canal and some uh, collector channels. Here we tilt the eye stent about 15 degrees to kind of engage the trabecular meshwork. And then we slide across, inserting the eye stent in the Schlem's canal. Uh, and then we release, well, there's a little button on our uh, eye stent injector, we release. There's a little bit of heme there, uh, which is normal. We also tap the eye stent with the injector to make sure that it's well seated. The little bit of heme that we see is actually a good sign. That's a sign that we're in uh, Schlem's Canal and there's a little bit of um, heme reflux. Uh, we remove the uh, uh, eye stent applicator and remove the gonio prism and basically at this time we tilt the patient's head back and finish uh, removing the viscoelastic and uh, finishing up with just the regular cataract surgery. Here we're removing the viscoelastic with the aspiration tip and sealing up the incisions at the end like we would with any regular cataract surgery.